and welcome back everybody to the Face TV studio. I'm DDK and this is Memento Mori and we were just talking about how fast this is going today because this is going yeah. crazy fast. We're all, we're all we already have Cypher as we know he's going to be in the grand finals. This is going to be the next semi-final that decides who will face him in the first spring season cup here from Face It for the, for the finals. And Yeah, I, mean, I guess we were just looking at the brackets and we saw a lot of two zeros and yeah, yeah I mean that, that could be... Uh, could be the explanation. Is evil falling off of his throne? Da, da, da. Evil, what are you doing? He lost the matrix two to one, and that's unexpected. Yeah, and actually, this creates a bit of a hype for now. This match, as we, you know, we have matrix there. He just beat evil. Can he beat cooler? And can he beat cipher? You know, that that could be kind of a <laughs> crazy run uh, for oh the wow. Polish player. Matrix said the the game on against Evil on Lost World went to three overtimes. So maybe that's a demo for people to look out for if it appears on each reality. Matrix, if you, yeah. I mean, three evil. overtimes is nothing. Like, it's not, it's know, not I ten. mean, uh, with with recent standards. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> how many was it? Ten or something? Yeah, or yeah. It was just they they played. Th that's 30 disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I thought that match was super funny uh, because it was this clash of styles, and. It didn't simply work for one of them to, you know, when when one would get the control a bit, the other would just hit crazy and then go yeah. back, and then Pavel, <laughs> Pavel yeah. would have super strong defensive play, yeah. and still Kilsen has a very crazy aim uh, with all weapons. So so it was like, oh, this is never gonna end. And it was <laughs> it was funny because I was at the LAN in Zurich with the Quake players, and we had like the the beamers and everything set up, and we were all watching, and at a certain point, like uh, you know, we were cheering at the end because yeah they yes, made it's it finished. Like, yeah they finished them that that, w that was a funny a marathon a funny match so yeah. Kudo and Matrix are picking maps right now okay so yeah, just getting good. to see what they're actually doing um okay they just started the map picking 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 yep. process yep. So and hectic dropped by Kula Matrix drops toxicity and what is Kula gonna do hmm it remains to be seen. But what are you rooting for a, a final? I mean, you know, you have Kula in there, you've got Matrix in there to play against Cypher potentially. I Who want is it be? Matrix to win. You want Matrix to win yes. today? Yes. Why, why is it? Is yeah, it because be you because love Matrix? No, because of what I said before. It's just oh, okay. this evil uh, cooler. Okay. You know, it's like bam, bam, he bam. He inherits the, yeah. the throne. If you, yeah. if you are able to decapitate evil, you take his powers like in... Yeah, the, 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 thing, the thing is, I mean... Uh, Either of these players can go uh, against Cypher and do a good show or not, depending whether Cypher is like uh, Cypher or Cypher, you know? Yes, th exactly, this yes. Kind of thing. If Cypher brought Cypher yeah. to the server. Yeah, I mean... Ooh, arrow walk removed. Okay, arrow walk removed. I was hoping to see that, actually. Oh. But Why did you want to see arrow walk? Uh, well, I always like to see Cooler on arrow walk. He kind of is a little bit out of his element, a little bit on arrow, but sometimes. But he's over the years. Yeah, but but it's like it. it's like when you're a kid and there is this nice little creature and you start poking it <laughs> around to see. Oh, okay, how I see. What you're now, I want to see cooler in our walk, and then <laughs> you know he will do it eventually. He will he will win <laughs> and then do things, but it's kind of mm, you know keep, keep things. <laughs> what edgy. will he do? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are moving to Lost World. I wouldn't be surprised if um, this was uh, Cooler's uh, pick. Yes, that makes complete sense. I mean, he's, of course, always super strong here. Th though, you know, to be fair, Matrox has done incredible performances too, here too, so I wouldn't really... S at this point, I'd say it's less of picking what you're, uh, you're good at, what your opponent's good at, but more just going for comfort. Yeah. What yeah. feels comfortable today. And yeah. he definitely played really, really strongly here earlier. And I think it's a nice thing to be at the level where, uh, you know, confidence is the way... Uh, by which you pick maps. Yeah. Like for a lot of people, it's just, oh, I'm going to remove these because I'm horrible there. And then it steps up to the point, you know, where, where these guys are at, where basically every tournament, they, they have kind of a feeling for, for what is good uh, and bad for them at that time. And, and then they pick it. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm very eager to, to see this happening. And actually, guys, we We're are getting live. Going live. <laughs> it is the, the semi final to decide who will play against Cypher in the grand finals of the spring season, the first spring season cup here from Face It. Matt Crooks and Kula off the bat here on map one Lost World. It's Kula who's going to actually have to fall back onto the yellow as, as uh, Matt Crooks is, is in a much better position. Gets a great rocket there. And now he's got Kula trapped at the Red Armor area. And that's not looking good. A good start for the Russian there as Matt Crooks really seems to think how things under control but he's not so strong and there come the grenades flying in from below as Mattress tries to find Kula but Kula he doesn't want to die he, he doesn't, doesn't want to die, to die. and <laughs> there he <laughs> will die <laughs> he will actually die but yeah. I really feel like that was a situation which showed the decision between do I want to give a frag away because he knows that he will die there yeah. no matter what he does or do I want to survive because that one frag how much does that one frag mean yeah I mean Sometimes it's it's just the delay the delay of the frag. Maybe maybe it's about okay, I delay him enough that I get fragged, but then everything is up in the map and I can have a still half of it or you know a, a quarter of it versus I die now and then the guy just picks up everything and starts this kind of a, a circle of death. Um <laughs> circle of death. Yeah, that sounds horribly gruesome. Yeah, and um, okay, let, let's switch off. I want to see what Cooler does. Well, Cooler is definitely very stacked, so I would really be looking to see him do something quite aggressive in this position, but of course he's got to watch over this Mega like a concerned parent watching over a child. And Cooler right there is going to actually give away that child to Matrox, who doesn't seem to care. And that is going to really help Matrox out. He's not got a good position to take a fight just yet. He's going to rocket jump up. Kula's got this open area really locked down, but Matrox definitely looking for an engagement here. If Matrox has a time on Mega or, or the Red, he can definitely do something, but he's going to go straight for the engagement. Kula's going to force him back, though, and actually maintain control of these upper areas. So what is Matrox going to do? Oh, we could beat Kula to the Mega here, and he does exactly that. <laughs> Kula, Fantastic. not quick enough. There, another engagement off the rocket jump. Kula's got to be in a little bit of trouble, but he runs out of lightning gun ammunition. That is definitely the definition of trouble as Matrox wins the battle of who has more LG ammo and will also win the frag there. Red coming up in 10, Mega in 15. So definitely Matrox has a decent enough position to take this red, but will Kula drop in on time? Yeah, I'm a bit surprised. I mean, the only thing Matrox had is uh, the weapon advantage. And instead, he was still pushing directly for the for the item, and this is a bit confusing. I mean, um, he should have probably stayed in center map and make sure the cooler couldn't get um, a rocket, and then after that, uh, drop for the item. Instead, he was he was eager to get the stack back because he was uh, kind of low. Um, so I don't know. This gave the opportunity for cooler to basically being here and fight this eventually win it so it's it's actually a tight uh, game so i want to switch to matrox i want let, let's try to follow a bit the player out of control um and just see you know um what what options he has i mean this is this could be very dangerous or really pay off this was excellent steal i'm i'm confused why cooler oh it's late so there was probably a bit of mistiming he probably realized now that that was the problem uh very smart for uh from matrix to just uh wait for cooler to drop and then decide to move but then he was it was very uh, slow here you should have probably rocket jump up to prevent all that damage um so yeah uh, i think now it's not he should have left you know this this is exactly what uh, cooler in control wants to do is just stays in the middle of the map and just waits for people to do uh, a mistake like that. And there you go, I mean double, two double frags. the frags. Yep, two frags. And Kula, oh my god, the machine gun, oh my god, it almost <laughs> takes him down. It's like a moment, a flashback from CPMA VQ3 duels there. And Kula has to contest with now a reddit Mactrox as he is adorned by that, as he just picked it up. And Kula goes and picks up the 52. So Kula's positioning right, uh, position on the map right now isn't super strong, but after that splash damage, he's even things up pretty much on the stacks, and it's all going to come down to these open fights. What are the players going to do? What will they decide to do? Matrox feels like this is a good engagement for him. It looks like Kula feels like he is weaker, so Kula's got the defensive posturing. He wants... Oh, great stuff from Kula. Oh my god. He, he's like, okay. Th okay, that was good from Kula, but bad from Matrox. Mm -hmm. Kula's yeah. like, okay, I don't know the stacks here. I feel like I'm the weaker player, so I'm going to take defensive posturing. He did exactly yeah. that. 
then he started to go, okay, let's, this Matrox seems to be pushing in. Let's use Plasma. And here comes Matrox aggressively again with a Plasma. But is he Demon? I think not. He's going to actually back away there. Cooler survives. But yeah, going back to that point, he uses the Plasma. And then all of a sudden, it's like, land so much. It's like, oh, well, hang on a second. Let's take this frag. But as I say that, Cooler dipping his feet too far into the pool there as Matrox had the LG ready and waiting and it was very dangerous indeed and that's going to be two frags the difference now and Kula is, is uh, back to score zero. Yeah, yeah, so, th so this is looking good. I mean, Matrox now has the time um, to basically catch Cooler off guards once and maybe capitalize a second time. Um, and it, it, it's like, I, I like the fact that he's kind of trying this sneaky approach. I mean, I guess it's the only only thing he will work against Cooler in a sense. Uh, but he's, you know, leaving up items and this could be very dangerous. Um, I'm gonna switch to Cooler. I wanna see where he is. And actually Cooler is not brave enough to drop. He probably was expecting a trap for the major item. And, and actually this worked very well for Cooler. And I'm very surprised. I mean the... Yeah, it's just great aim. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, uh, and that's really, you know, sometimes when you look at these matches, you look at the decision making, you analyze it, and sometimes it just, com it just comes down to one player going like, okay, I'm just going to aim it. I'm just going to go for it. I have a disadvantage on stack, positioning, whatever it is. I'm just going to go and aim. And sometimes it works out, and you see Evil do it a lot of the time, and you just saw Cooler do it. And now he's in a decent position to continue his lead, and he's got so much potential for damage onto the Matrix now. Matrix is going to be super scared, super cautious, super worried, because <laughs> look at... Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> the damage <laughs> coming in from below. Matrox has something to say about this. And Kula going to finish him off anyway. But that yeah. was a great attempt from yeah, Matrox. It was very funny, actually. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's switch uh, to Matrox. Uh, he got himself an LG and a rocket, which is very good. I mean, it's, it's the difficult thing to get at the start. And he could actually get this red. So, so it doesn't look too bad for him, it's just uh, four frags and he has uh, about three minutes to do it. So he really need to uh, push hard, probably win uh, Mega and then go for, for the run. So I want to switch to Cooler now and see where he's positioned, because he probably knew that uh, Matrix was at the Mega. And actually I was hoping for some sort of a trap, like uh, you know, an LG trap as, uh, as Matrox rocket jumps up, uh, that didn't happen. I mean Cooler probably, his priority was to build the stack and make sure he can take one of those uh, crazy fights. I'm not sure why he's hanging around the Mega for so long. Maybe he believes it was... Wow, those rockets are incredible, but actually not enough to beat Matrox. The, the real question to me now is, um, it's about momentum. Does Matrox oh have wow. enough momentum? It looks like it. This is game on for the Polish superstar, the power of speed, Matrox. Here he goes, rocket jump, wow. look at that speed, wow. look at it, reveling it as Matrox just uh, destroys Cooler there, picks up the Mega and the Red. This is insanely strong momentum, he's got two minutes, he's got overwhelming amounts of control and it's just one frag to tie up the game. Wow, how, how could things happen so quickly? That was, that was a fantastic play um, by Matrox. And now, now it's all on Cooler, I mean it's uh, two minutes left. Cooler has to play very defensive and make sure, you know, nothing happens because one frag could be at the end of it. And actually, look at the damage Elise is doing and Matrox is switching now to LG, which is the proper uh, way to fight there. And Cooler is trapped. I, I almost believe Cooler could do it there. I mean, it was, you know, <laughs> it was so crazy at the beginning <laughs> if, yeah, the if Matro Matrox didn't switch. But yeah, I guess just the initial engagement, uh, the stacks were, were just too ridiculous to, to work in Cooler's way. And now it's a tight game that could actually we end. Uh, we could go to another time. If, if Cooler manages to be Cooler, make yeah. some good reads. We'll see another time, but oh, that's some great damage from Kula. But he knows he cannot bite off more than he can chew, even though it's such an efficient way to start a fight. He just doesn't have the stack to deal with it. And yeah, I really like this rocket jump. It's, it's very, very good. It's, it's taking away any options for Kula uh, to build a stack except the shards. Um, so, so now, now it's the time for Matrix to push, and it's the time for Cooler to just disappear. Uh, the the only thing uh, Cooler oh, can hold, okay. yeah, is to do exactly this, like like do damage, slow Matrix down, and and you know bring it to an overtime. But whoa, this could be very dangerous for Cooler. 
to the 73 points of health. Oh, he gets so much damage onto Matrox as he just is flying through the air. There's that lightning gun of his, and that is going to really help Cooler out here because he gets the yellow, and now he has options to get on the map. And look at that, he does exactly that. And what does it get him? It gets him a mega health. And now Matrox has got to be feeling a little bit scared, but he's still with the advantage somewhat. But there is the first overtime indeed. And here comes Cooler aggressively with the plasma gun. There's one rocket. There's another. And he gets the third, but 11 points of health left for Matrox. And in fact, Matrox will be the one who gets the frag. And what a crazy game this has become as Matrox is so low. Cooler is... Oh, he does it with the rockets. And he gets the red as well. Game is tied once again. Memento, what is... <laughs> what do you make of this? Yeah, it's just crazy. I just, I'm just enjoying uh, these two players doing crazy stuff. Uh, I, I don't really know what to say in terms of tactics or, or anything. It's just that um, I didn't, I didn't expect uh, too many things to happen in that minute and a half. Um, I guess, I guess now it's really, it's really who makes the first mistake. Um, and <laughs> yes, this could be it actually. Oh my. <laughs> God. Yeah, yeah. That was a fantastic oh rocket. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So let, let, I want to switch quickly to Matrox. Yeah, he's, he's full stack, and I just want to see whether he decides to push a lot or just play defensive one minute. I mean, he, he could have uh, options. For him, it's really the only thing bad that could happen to him is like falling into lava or something like that. Otherwise, I just see him winning this map. It was ineffable. <laughs> There's no words for that, but there is Kula going to take a fight. He does actually manage to at least get... Oh my god! What is going on in this game? He just does not deserve that at all. But he gets it, he's cooler, you know, he's entitled. He is one of the biggest legends, if not the biggest Quake legend that's ever played the game of Quake 3. But whatever, you know, cooler as he sits atop his, his Iron Russian throne, he has 200 health, 160 armor. And he's in a game-winning position right now. It's going to go probably to another overtime. Yeah. But yeah. Who, oh, maybe not. Maybe Matt just called out. Kula's going to finish it off right here, right now. Oh my God, Matt Ross. Six points of health. He nearly made it a reality. <laughs> oh, how did that happen? Oh man, oh, what a, is a round of applause for, yeah. <laughs> for this because, wow. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Brilliant match though. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Why you not? know, this is this Why is not? the this is the school of not giving up. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in my <laughs> in my mind, this game was over. Yeah, yeah. And then Cooler did it, and then this crazy fight. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's. it's I, really I love the rocket, like when you just behind the pillars, rocket jumping, double rocket jump up. Like he could have actually tried one rocket jump up yeah, to the red yeah. thing, or like even, yeah, and but he went for the double. I mean, is it, is and it, it really failed. possible? I don't think it's possible, no. Okay. I don't you know. You should have a plasma it's jump behind or something like that. I don't know or if it's something anyone really has tried. It's like, oh, you know, this I'll try this jump just because it's useful to know if it's possible. But yeah, it's yeah. kind of, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's map number one going to Kula, which, you know, <laughs> I, you know that's his map. Of course, Matrox is amazing there. And as we just saw that, Matrox is pretty amazing there. Yeah. But we're going to Blood Run. It's Blood Run. It's a Russian. It's the Russian. It's the Russian. And it's the Pole. So w what do you say? I mean... Yeah, yeah, a good map. And I really... I'm really just enjoying these two players. Yeah. And <laughs> I have to say, Matrax is very often like this. He pulls off incredible games. Maybe he doesn't win, but... You know. Yeah, he does. He really does. Yeah. And he against incredible players all yeah. the time. Here we go. Max point for Kula in this semi-final to decide who will play against Cypher in the grand final. Will it be Kula? Will it be Matrox? Right now, off the start, there's a little bit of a delay on this Mega from yeah. Matrox coming in. Do you like Which this? Mm, no. I mean, it was a mistake, I think. And it could have cost him if Kula went down to rail. Um, to you know, pick a shot, but luckily it didn't happen. He has so position on red though. Yeah, yeah, and plenty of time to make sure the red is his, or actually he can damage Cooler if he gets there. Wow, yeah, this worked very out nice. really well for Matrox, in fact. And yeah, yeah, the, the nades there were perfect. In uh, fact, actually, if Cooler had anywhere else, you could, I think it's uh, probably 
a bad player rule matchup with the Mega and everything. Yeah. Because he went, came from there, that just made his opening play into a really, really strong one. And now look at this. His stack is incredible. 180, 130 against the 189 armor that Cooler possesses right now. A minute in, but there's no frags exchanged. And Cooler is a man who can definitely play this game slowly. He can play it out of control and he can definitely do it if he's on Blood Run. Yeah. And I like the fact that Mathrox um, often leaves up items. You know, he, he's a. Uh, He's keen in gambling in terms of, you know, it, it's also the beginning of the match, so it's not that, that hard. Uh, oh yeah. that, you know, that, that, that much of a problem. But he, he does it and, and, you know, it pays off. I mean, he probably can throw a uh, cooler off a bit um, with, with this kind of gambles. So, one frag on the lead. I'm gonna switch to cooler to see what he's up to. So, he managed to get a, a decent stack. He doesn't really have the weapons, he's now moving to LG, and the only thing he he needs left is the rail gun, and actually he Perfect. probably has Perfect! To. Yes. And <laughs> he's going back. Okay, looking for damage. I don't know what kind of read that there was, but it was perfect. It was two straight dead-on defensive rockets. Yeah. Dead on. That's yeah. 200 damage. That equalizes them, and then Matt Fox still didn't adjust, and Kula got the frag. Yeah, yeah, very... Very nice, and very nice to see him, uh, you know, taking this decision so quickly, like from retreating to just, just pushing forward. And actually, um, a bit of a mistake there for uh, Matro not predicting something like that would happen. But I guess this is one of the the most difficult aspect of the game is to really read the situation yeah. I immediately and 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 predict what could happen and, and act accordingly. For, uh, for me, Kula has shown me. To, to me, Kula is the best player at the skill of quick, lightning quick adaptation. Yeah. And just adapt adaptation in general. Like, to me, he's someone who really, really gets it. And not only that, he is someone that can read the game really well. His information is more perfect than most other players. Yeah. So, those two qualities make him one of the reasons why he's an incredible player. And I, I love it. I love seeing it. And. As you're saying, these two players bring exciting games, and it's a 1-1 one -one scoreline right now. After at, at the start, what I thought would be maybe, you know, I was like, oh crap, you know, Cooler just got kind of crushed right at the start. You know, that one frag lead is going to make it really hard, but we're seeing a lot of action, a lot of fun times as Matrix wins the Mega. But Cooler still has some stack, and he's very bold with it. He's going to rocket jump up to that red. Good timing. Matrix is not quite quick enough. Trying to pursue Cooler, but he knows he can't be too aggressive just yet. Yeah, and actually Matrox was a bit lucky that uh, Cooler didn't uh, deal too much damage there. And But anyway, I, I really like the, the fights that Ma Matrox is picking. Like, uh, he managed to steal Mega uh, the last uh, time. Let's see now if he's in position to do damage. He probably went for uh, for red, uh, yes. So a little of, little of exchange uh, between the two players. But so far, so good. I mean, he's doing what he has to do, and wow. <laughs> I, I would expect him to not take this fight, but he's actually going in, and he did wow. quite some damage. That, now. that rail at the end there really changes things, as now Kula picks up a yellow, and what has Matrix picked up? Nothing! Situation changes massively now for Kula as he jumps into the arms of Matrix with a lightning gun out, and that's Matrix going to fall there. Two to one scoreline now, five minutes, 40 seconds remaining in this game, and Kula, of course, this is his match point. It could all be over here. It could be a Cypher Cooler final, but look at this. Matrox with a great steal on the Mega, but he's going to die anyway. But does this leave him for some follow-ups? Maybe, just Whoa. maybe, with the machine gun. But no, Cooler gets away. Matrox picks up the railgun. And Cooler, if he takes one rail right now, that will change things massively. Yeah, yeah. I really like that uh, Matrox is pushing for uh, damaging at this threat. He probably cannot... Oh, he gets... Cooler still makes yeah. the jump. Yeah, no. No, it was very good. And he couldn't really steal it because he didn't you know he, he didn't have the stack to survive but i really like that he j was there to do the damage and it, it's really it's really the way to play it um so yeah i mean it feels it, it feels very intense in general but the, the kind of play that these two um players can pull off and uh, now it's i think it's all about um matrox and uh, let's let's switch to him. I really want to see what kind of fights it takes, and this this was not good. This this is probably the first time I'm kind of 
yeah, he, he does have a sometimes a tendency to be aggressive in very questionable situations. Yeah, yeah. It's going to come down to whether or not, uh, whether I wonder if Cooler re reads that about Matrox as well, because if that is the case, maybe it's something that could be quite heavily exploited. But it it remains to be, be seen. It's not a trap. I'm very surprised. Um, yeah, this is very good for Matrox because like the last minute didn't really go in his favor. Uh, there was that yellow, um, the, the fight before were not taken, and actually, okay, this could this could be very good. If he deals a bit more damage, then he could actually, but no, he decided to go uh, for the yellow, which, which is still good. It just means that uh, Cooler will have another cycle of a major item, so now the stack of Cooler is just immense. And yeah. Yeah, th the only thing that, that... Oh no, this could be huge. Killer's actually hiding around the corner. Oh, but Killer's just too slow to capitalize. That could have been incredibly huge there because Matrox could have had his, all of his chances, all of his work just dashed away there in a moment. Single, a single moment. Yeah. Of, uh, we see Cooler now running around. That's a good rocket there from Cooler, but... Yeah, and actually good really positioning. I mean, uh, one would have expected him to be at the red, but actually he chose to go for the damages instead, which is, which is very good because it's buying a lot of time. Yeah, now sure. now Matrox has to rebuild everything and basically he lost a uh, minute and a half. Oh, time. what a rail from the Russian there. Yeah. That was really nice. And exactly that, you know, Kula's really playing the edges. Oh, but if he sees a frag, he's going to take it. And that's exactly what he does. And that's, oh, he catches Matrox off the spawn there. Great play there. And Matrox is not too happy <laughs> about that. And you know, Cooler was really, really playing with the control. He's like, okay, I'm not going to go for frags, but I will I will con uh, consistently damage you. And he was staying like far away enough that he was never putting himself in a position to really chase. Yeah. But he was always in a position to deal damage and be able to cut off if Matrix was going to go somewhere. And that's what he kept doing. I really, really like that because it shows you how comfortable he is with a lead of two frags. Because many people will be like, okay, I've got to get more of a lead, more of a lead. But he's like, no, I'm going to, I have a lead. It's two frags, it's blood run, and I'm just going to make sure that I can maintain it until the 10 minute mark. And if a frag comes, the frag comes, and that's what happened for him. And I, I love it. Yeah, yeah, excellent play there. I guess now it, it's very difficult um, for Matrix to bring this back. But yeah, I mean, it's... Um, He's Matrix, so he can, he can do these things. Yeah, yeah, and he, he can take very crazy fights every now and then. So, so this is interesting. We have a split of items. If he plays it right, he could even take one and, and do damage as, as Kilo go for the other. But actually, that doesn't work. So it's kind of a evening situation. And oh my god, I didn't, I didn't think Kudo would be... Um, Still there, so this is good. <laughs> this is kind of good, and and Cooler is li really playing the clock. You know? like yeah, for sure. Yeah, and he knows he can take this fight, and wow, yeah, that that is forcing the ine inefficient fights for on map drops and just capitalizing. It's uh, really, really good stuff from Cooler. He's just playing it just completely perfectly. I would say. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's just it's going so well for him, and that's going to mean that, I mean, this is match point for Cooler, so unless six frags, seven frags now comes from, from Matrox in uh, in 60 seconds, we're going to see Cypher versus Cooler in the grand final of the first, face it, Quake Live Spring Season Cup. And I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be really, really good. I want to see Cypher bringing Cypher. I want to see Cooler bringing Cooler. Yeah. And yeah. some jacuzzi pictures. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah, as, as Mantrox wa was writing, um, the LG of Cooler has been phenomenal. I mean, it's just, I don't know what the, accru the accuracy says, but, but just the in-fight situation was so crazy. Yeah. yeah, so very good. I mean, a very good display from both players. Um, I just think in this map, uh, the only thing was uh, a bit in the middle. Matrox had like an unfortunate uh, fight and also m missed a couple of items, and then and then this costed him, and he never get to the that position where he could uh, uh, take uh, frags back. So then, yeah, so I guess this 9-0 is a bit over. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but you know, it's it's really awesome because we get to see Kuda and Cypher in the final and. That's always a great final to have, no matter you know what you're looking at. And Kula's been showing some great form. Yep. So is Cypher. I don't know what to say. I just want to see it. I just want to see it. It's going to be best of five, of course. And remember, guys, if you've been enjoying the action here from Face It to 
of course, subscribe on Facebook.com if you want to play in these tournaments that we hold, hold every single weekend. Every single Sunday. It's the Sunday Cup. That's what it's called for a reason because yeah. we play them on Sundays. Come on. So also, Matt managed, you know, managed to follow. Is it there? I don't know. Is it up there? Somewhere. Eventually, one day, we'll run out of this joke. This joke will get old, but for now, I'm still enjoying it. So yeah. press the follow button so you can see us, so you get notified when we, get, when we go live with Quake action or action of any kind from Face It TV. And of course, also hit us up on Twitter with Face It. Just tweet away. Tweet at Memento as well. Do you have a, a, tw a Twitter you want to plug? Mm, no, not, not really. I like want to like, like, yeah, like yeah. CZN's Twitter is <laughs> a pretty nice one as well. <laughs> yep. And also, you can check out, if you're loving the cooler action, we have some legend Legends Cup merchandise, the Face It shirts there with some of the coolest in the face on them with a nice little quote. You can find that on our Facebook, our Facebook store, Face It Community. And that's it. We're going to go to a break and we'll come back, of course, with an awesome video and then the finals between Cypher and Cooler. So to stay tuned. Shh. 